Hey guys, Dr. Axe here from DrAxe.com. Today I'm gonna to share with you the five warning signs that you're zinc deficient. And zinc deficiency is something that's very common and can cause a number of health issues. And let me say this as well. I estimate about 75% of people out there today are deficient in zinc. And here are the five warning signs that you are zinc deficient. Also, at the end of this video, I'll talk about my top five zinc-rich foods you should be getting in and what to look for in a zinc supplement. But number one warning sign that you have a zinc deficiency is if you're immune compromised. If you tend to get sick frequently, if you have immune, uh, immune system issues, if you've ever come down with uh, any sort of chronic allergies or anything like that, that's a big warning sign that you are zinc deficient. So again, if you're immune compromised, if you get sick often, or you're always that person that gets sick, that is a major warning sign. And also, if you've had any other disease related to immunodeficiency, that's a warning sign you're zinc deficient. Number two warning sign you're de zinc deficient is if you have leaky gut. Leaky gut is a condition to where proteins can leak through the gut and cause systemic inflammation. And that's also related to food allergies, thyroid problems, adrenal fatigue. But number two warning sign that you are zinc deficient is if you have leaky gut and you have malabsorption, you're not digesting your nutrients well. Number three warning sign you're zinc deficient is if you struggle with diarrhea, if you ever have loose stools. And that's where, again, your stools aren't firmly formed uh, in the toilet. That's a big warning sign that you're zinc deficient. And also, if you have inflammatory bowel disease, like irritable bowel syndrome, any of those issues whatsoever, even gas and bloating, those are warning signs. You are zinc deficient. Number four warning sign is thinning hair or losing your hair. If you have thin hair or losing your hair, zinc is an essential mineral that really supports thicker hair growth and also just supports your body growing and repairing and healing. Number five warning sign you're zinc deficient is you have any sort of inflammatory skin issue, especially acne, eczema, dermatitis, or psoriasis. All of those are warning signs that you are zinc deficient. Now, there are other warning signs, but I want to talk about who, what people are most deficient in zinc and what causes a zinc deficiency. Well, one of the biggest things that causes a zinc deficiency is high levels of emotional stress. If you are emotionally stressed out over time, your body has to utilize zinc and, and that mineral to heal and repair the body, to repair the brain, to repair the skin, to repair your organs. Zinc is a reparative mineral that actually is even, even critical for protein synthesis and utilization in your body. So if you have had, let's say, a loss in the family or a very stressful job and you're not sleeping enough, any of those things, that is a big cause of zinc deficiency. The second most common cause of zinc deficiency is over-exercise. Uh, triathletes, marathon runners, CrossFit athletes are some of the people that are most susceptible to a zinc deficiency. So again, if you work out a lot and maybe even have overworked out in the past, that can cause zinc deficiency. The third most common reason you're zinc deficient is if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Obviously, when you're uh, eating for two, that can cause mineral deficiencies. And so again, that can cause a zinc deficiency. And last but not least, typically aging women or elderly, they tend to have malabsorption, so they don't absorb zinc well. So they tend to have a magnesium or a zinc deficiency is something that can happen. So if you're going to get more zinc in your diet, a few things need to happen. Number one thing you need to do is consume more zinc-rich foods. Some of the best zinc-rich foods include, number one, are pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are very high in zinc. Also, oysters are high in zinc. Um, another great form of zinc is going to be grass-fed beef is going to have some zinc in it. And then sprouted nuts and seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, even almonds, getting some seeds in your diet. And then peas are also a good form of zinc. So getting some green peas in your diet can also increase those zinc levels. And last but not least, you need probiotics as well. Probiotics, taking a good quality probiotic supplement and consuming probiotic-rich foods like kefir and fermented vegetables like sauerkraut, increase your absorption and digestion of zinc. Remember this, it's not just what you eat, it's what you digest. So again, getting more probiotic rich foods in your diet and supplements can actually improve your overall zinc absorption. So again, remember the biggest warning signs you have a zinc deficiency are immune issues, leaky gut, uh, bowel issues like diarrhea, 
thinning or losing your hair, as well as inflammatory skin issues like acne. Those are warning signs you have a zinc deficiency. And if you want to learn more natural cures and ways to improve your zinc, hey, check out draxe.com. You can find more information there. Also, hey, you can subscribe here to this YouTube channel. I am every week putting out the latest and most cutting edge information about vitamins, nutrients, and herbal remedies to heal your body naturally. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video on zinc deficiency symptoms with me, Dr. Axe.